What's up, everyone? Alex and Olena here, and we are about to catch a bus from Zadar to the Plitvice Lakes area. We just finished up in Zadar, and now we are headed over to Lake Plivitska. Plivitska. To Plitvice, to Plitvitsky Lake. And it's about an hour and a half right over there. What did you think of Zadar? Oh, I like it. Uh, I think I've, I will be back here at some point. That's a place where I can take my mom <laughs> to vacation. She would like it here. I liked it a lot here. It was a little bit different than Split. Similar, they had an old town. There was uh, less people here. It was quiet. We were here on the weekend and it feels, it's not like back in the US where on the weekend there's everyone's out. Here it's like complete opposite. On the weekends, everyone just stays in. It's quiet. It because almost feels like a ghost town. It's also a low season. I bet, you know, like it's way more people on the weekend than just in general during the summer. So we're at the bus station now and we're leaving from Peron 13. Mm -hmm. So it's the platform 13. Bus leaves in about uh, 10 minutes and we're off to our next destination for the next two nights. We will see you in Plitvitz Lake. The trip takes around two hours. You can purchase a bus ticket online or in person at the bus station and will run you right around 13 US dollars per ticket. Compared to our last bus ride from Split to Zadar, this was definitely much smoother and less nauseating. The views were especially unique as the terrain gradually shifted from coastal to mountainous. Being that the winter was fast approaching, tourism was in its transition to low season. So needless to say, the bus was pretty much empty. Once you arrive in the lakes area, you will notice that there are no large bus stations, but rather just bus stops, as there are no major cities around, just small villages. We are on a lake. This is a bus stop. It's easy to miss, so make sure that you tell driver where we need to stop. Yeah, we just got dropped off right now with, from the bus from Zadar. Mm -hmm. Here are some hotels around. There is the place where Alex stayed before. Either I stayed. There there. It was either here or it was up there. I stayed here mm -hmm. about 10 years ago. Yeah, our new place is going to be there. So that way it's going to be... Behind me. Coastal town and that way it's going to be Zadar. So we're like in between. No, no, that way it's going to be Zagreb, not Zadar. Yeah, yeah, Zagreb. <laughs> Zagreb. Yeah, the name. yeah, and you can see the bus stop here. It's super tiny. Nothing major, so it can be really confusing. It's the same thing when you leave. I, last time when I left here, I was like confused as to where the bus was, where I had to wait. Mm -hmm. I remember waiting here for like an hour. Yeah, there's another station. I think it's bigger. It's like 20 minutes away from there. It's right there. Okay, let's walk over to where we're staying. <laughs> you can see the sign. stayed in the small village of Mukinje, located right near entrance number two of the park. There are plenty of hotels and homestays available throughout the area. We chose Mukinje because most tourists tend to stay near entrance number one of the park, which is also the main entrance. Yeah, there is the bathroom. It's definitely more space than in previous one. 
kind of like this is the bathroom. the bathroom you got your toilet that sink uh, the shower oh, and you have a washing machine here also nice I guess like almost all the Airbnb have washing machines, so that's... There's me. <laughs> this so. is the room with the bed. The bed's pretty big. We have plenty of room now. Yeah. This is the view on the hall. Oh, we have a... Yeah, oh, we have a balcony. balcony. Mm -hmm. nice. Right here. We might have another one. Might have another what? Yeah, there's maybe a station for shuttle bus right there. Might be, we're not sure yet. Unless that's where they just park all their shuttle mm -hmm. bus at the end of the day. Yeah. Couch, TV, air conditioner, yeah, right there. Yep, power that sucker on here. Yeah, there's also like mini tiny bal balcony. You have a, a small kitchen with the microwave, refrigerator, dishwashing dishwasher, machine. stove, everything you need to cook if you need to cook something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and also some plates, even rice, if you want rice. There's rice? Yeah, dried rice. Like you have to cook it? Yeah. That's can. fine, yeah. I guess you can cook it if you want. I should have brought that meat with me. <laughs> <laughs> the leftover meat from yep. Zadad. All right. In general, there is not a lot of eating options around the lakes. So your best bet is to visit a local supermarket and do a supply room for some homemade cooking. We've spent 147 here at the grocery, and I think what we got will last us till till we go to Zagreb. Yeah, I would say like for two days. For two days. For two people. We got uh, some sausage. Excuse me. We got some sausage. We got some sodas. Veggies. Veggies. Candy, ice cream. Candy, coffee. ice cream. Coffee. Yeah, we get a lot of stuff. Yeah, I think we're good. We're set for today and tomorrow mostly. Utilizing the kitchen, Olena cooking. Yep. What are you cooking? I don't know. <laughs> some like minestrone vegetables with uh, sausage, fried sausage. And some spices you got? Yeah, Mediterranean spices and also nasi. Light. Some nasi. There was some basmati rice in here. This this apartment's cool. They they provided some rice and some yes. other stuff. What was the other rice? They had like some like shorter rice and like the Here's some sausage we bought at the local store. There's the Mediterranean spices. Even like olive oil and balsamic stuff and coffee. They have like coffee pot, Turkish coffee pot. And what else? Salt and tea. There's different teas. Nice. Okay. Nice. I like it. Veggies with sausage. Veggies with sausage. Quesadillas about to be ready. Quesadilla is about to be ready. Old El Paso. Old El Paso tortillas in, in, uh, in Mukinya. Yeah. The village of Mukinya, Croatia. Mm -hmm. Rice. Like. Basmati. I don't know. Like long, long rice. Some kind of long rice. Coffee with Irish cream. All right. Yeah. We're set. We're set. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. 
It's about uh, 7.15 now and it's a new day. We're going to Plitvice Lake. What entrance? Entrance number one? Entrance number two. Number two. The park opens at 8 o'clock. So we're going to go to entrance number two to pick up our tickets. The route we're going to take, we're taking the shuttle bus from there up to the north part of the upper lakes. When we get dropped off up there, we're going to walk all the way down. Like four miles? Three miles? I think it's something like two or three miles down to the boat stop. There's a little, there's a, there's one at one end of the lake at the bottom, there's a boat. We're going to take that across back over to entrance number two. And there's another boat there. You catch all the way over to the other side of the lower lakes. And from the lower lakes, we're going to walk all around the lower lake and then end up back over um, at bus stop. I forget what number it is. We'll take that one, the shuttle bus, all the way over back over to the entrance number two. And then we're done for the day. And I think that whole thing is like six miles. It doesn't seem like long, but I think we'll be spending a lot of time walking through a lot of cool areas. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be like stopping all the time, you know, mm -hmm. so. Yeah, also I think when it's high season, there is like limited capacity for each time when you buy tickets. So it's good to buy tickets in advance if you want to go on a certain time. Yeah, if you want to go, it's, it's timed entry. Um, like right now, I checked. I checked yesterday what the what number it, it tells you like live how many tickets are left per time, and you know <laughs> when I looked at I our time at, from 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 seven to eight o'clock or something like that was like five hundred and eighty something tickets. So mm -hmm. yeah, we're, yeah, but we're when it's good. like summer or like weekend summer, yeah, it's maybe better to check it and buy tickets online in advance. And, and what's cool right now is we're walking down this trail from our apartment that we've rented over to the entrance number two and there's like this really cool trail and I'll show you guys what it's like. From our apartment, it's about a 20 minute downhill walk to entrance number two of the lakes. Trails are clearly marked, so there should be no worries on getting lost. There are two primary entrances to the park and tickets are available at either location and vary on price depending on the time of year you visit. For our visit, we were there in November and the tickets ran us 11 US dollars per person. The park itself is massive and consists of two main areas the upper and lower lakes. You can explore by way of a number of different suggested routes that vary on both length and what is covered. We chose to take one of the shuttle buses and start at the far end of the upper lakes, making our way down to the lower lakes. Plitvice Lakes is one of the oldest and largest national parks in Croatia. It is included on the UNESCO World Heritage List due to its amazing series of tufa lakes and caves connected by waterfalls. It encompasses over 300 square kilometers and receives upwards of 1 million visitors each year. Look, there's the log. 
big tree. Fell in. Water's crystal clear almost. Mm -hmm. But you can't uh, swim here. It's prohibited. It is? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, you know, like you not uh, destroy ecosystem. It's probably going from here to there, to that little lake, this water. I bet it's going from this lake to that lake. You yep. know. Because they're like on a different elevation. We highly recommend following our route and starting early morning from Entrance 2 at the far end of the upper lakes. Most visitors start from Entrance 1 at the lower lakes, so we were essentially able to avoid any crowds by starting from the end and working our way backwards. As you can see, we pretty much had the place all to ourselves. Right, so we're nearing the end of uh, the upper lakes. We're approaching P2. We'll catch a boat at P2 and go across a short, short ride over to P1, which is a, basically where we first started. And then from there you catch another boat and that goes all the way across to the lower lakes on, and it's to P, P3, to P3. Mm -hmm. Smell like mushrooms here. It smells like mushrooms? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I don't know what mushrooms smell like in the natural, in their natural habitat. But yeah, that was an awesome walk. I've never done the, I've done the, this one before. I've never done the lower lakes before, so I'm, I'm really uh, excited to check out what it's like. As you near the end of the upper lakes, you'll take a boat ride over to the midpoint of the lower lakes. The boat ride is a nice break from all the walking and provides some amazing views of the surroundings. We've made it to P3. How long do you think that took about? I would say like 20, 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah, it took a while. Yeah, that's how it feels. The, the boat was moving like a snail. Yeah, but you can enjoy the view. Yeah, yeah. And the breeze was nice. And especially if you walk before like four or five miles, you're probably going to be happy to sit. So this is the uh, P3 area mm -hmm. and it looks like they have all kinds of stuff here. There's like... Yeah, you can snack, souvenir shop, bathroom and all that stuff. It's a nice and clean area where you can rest, sit, eat. If you bring something with you, you can buy like, here's mostly like burgers, hot dogs, muffin food, drinks, coffee, soda, water, and toilet, bathroom. Clean, clean bathrooms. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And anytime, if, you, if you're thinking, if you're a social media influencer, mm -hmm. no drones. No drones allowed.
Although the lower lakes have some uniqueness to them, we found the upper lakes overall to be more enjoyable, mainly because there are far more tourists here. But the one thing that made the lower lakes cool was that you could walk the perimeter from up above allowing for a top-down view of the lower lakes. here on the top part of the bottom lake I like them both equal equally although I like the bottom part no no the, I like the upper lakes a little bit better because there's less people and I like the, the, the trail yeah and here here's a little bit more people but here you can get like really really beautiful view of the lakes and canyon so we now in a shuttle bus stop I think almost all the shuttle bus stops have uh, restrooms and some like little cafe or bar where you can get yeah, some snacks. Yeah, you need snacks. to take a break because be yeah. between each one, there's no restrooms or anything. So and the lo and the walks are pretty long. So mm -hmm. you're looking at at least an hour, probably about an hour walk to get from each location, if not more more than that. The least amount of time is an hour that you're going to spend walking from one section to another before you find a bathroom or something. So. From the lower lakes at entrance 1, we caught a shuttle bus back to entrance 2 where we first started. From there, we made our way back to our apartment, but not before we got a meal at Poljana, a self-service cafeteria-style restaurant. This is cabbage salad with some pickled pepper, I think, and tomatoes. And this is chocolate, something. Okay, and what's that <laughs> you're drinking? This is raspberry, you know, like beer mixed with the lemonade. Oh, it's alcohol? Mm -hmm. And all this. Oh, wait, and that's what she got. And I got a beef stew. Yep. And a cabbage also, and some rice. Gotta have rice when you're Asian. And I got a soda. And that's a, that's a lemon beer, right? Mm hmm. And yep. all this was 175 kuna, I think, mm -hmm. which came out to like, which is about 20, $23. Mm -hmm. not so bad, that's not bad. For, yeah. <laughs> For that evening, we decided to try out the only restaurant we could find in Mukinya, and it turned out to be much better than expected. Quadro formaggio pizza. Smell big time like quadro formaggio. Smell big time like quadro formaggio. It's hot. Still too hot. 
As always, if you enjoyed this video and found it to be helpful, then be sure to hit that like button down below and please consider subscribing to our channel. See you in the next video.